Morning guys, we've got a, a wee radio to repair today. Um, this I come IC725, I believe it hails from the late uh, uh, 80s, possibly 90s, into the 90s I believe. Um, and we're doing a wee comparison between that and the Yesu uh, FTDX10. Now, there's a QSL on the go here. And the station is weak, is very weak. We know it's there, but we can hardly hear it. On the on this one, it's still there. Yeah, okay. Now listen to that. Oh, yeah, all uh, very good and beautiful. It is practically beautiful. It's An S9 from this guy, and he's in Moscow. On this one. A lot more noise. There you go, and we'll bring it back to this one. We'll take the noise. Oh, I was going to switch off the DNR so you could hear the difference. Um, there will be. Well, I'll switch off now. The, the seemingly sudden drop in signal level, um, I think these, uh, the FTDX10 is more prone to, like say something's getting switched on or off, um, <coughs> it immediately fades down. There you go, that's it, off. Congratulations uh, on uh, your equipment at uh, the XB Montana, which is doing a uh, beautiful job, my friend. And, uh, I've uh, operating, I'm operating with Swellerman Chagi, Swellerman Sibanda Z. And back to this one. On the roof of my 12 story building, 12 meters over the roof. Uh, but, uh, I, do have the, I do have this one set for more treble, I have to say. To the uh, uh, to the good position uh, to the far east for the itching, and uh, my antenna still on, uh, on 210 degrees, degrees practically to, to the South Europe and uh, to the South America. Thank you very much for that excellent contact, John. I would not keep you any longer. I will say 73 to you and the family, and um, take care, um, the best regards from Moscow, and I will see you further down the lock, my friend. And it's on also also playing into that speaker. Peter, uniform Victor Delta, Uncle Alpha 3, Alpha Foxter and Juliet, listening for your final John Gay. So, as we can see, the, the way the DX10 uh, operates, we definitely get a, a considerable reduction in noise level, uh, and even with a very weak signal, um, this you know the signal's there, but again, it's very weak on here anyway. Uh, but it's definitely there is more uh, audio coming through from that weak station, um, so we can see how it definitely operates. Now, antenna-wise at the moment, the, this one's running into a modified silver rod and this one is running into from the Wellbrook loop, it's also modified. But swapping it around between the two of them didn't really make much of a difference, to be fair. Uh, so, that's just basically the way of it. So there you go, uh, this had a dry joint, uh, this one in the, the main board, uh, it was deaf. We're flexing the board that uh, came up. So we've repaired that and it's now operative fine, giving out the full 100 watts, uh, as it should do, uh, as is of course this. So there you go, I just thought I'd show you that just out of interest, haven't done many videos recently, been quite busy, so there you go. Okay guys, take care, thank you very much for watching and uh, all the very best and hopefully we'll have some more videos coming up soon for you. Okay Dale, cheers for now, bye bye.